what's your overriding feeling about how the the whole affair has played out? Uh, the the uh, CEO of USADA has you know called me and, and uh, apologized for how the situation uh, transpired throughout the media. What did you say to him? We just had a, a conversation. He he was just telling me you know you got to be more diligent about uh, you know updating it. He asked me like what could they do on, on their end to make it you know easier and I was just agreeing with him. You know I was just saying like you know it's definitely on me. You know I gotta be more diligent about it. Um, gotta set reminders on my phone to be able to remember anytime I make a move, even time I'm outside of the city, outside of the state, I gotta you know remember to update the app. You accept you messed up in that re regard. I mean, messed up would mean that I broke the rules. So I didn't get suspended or nothing like that. So necessarily, I didn't necessarily break the rules. So it wasn't like I was like coming from a, an apologetic standpoint. It was just saying that like, you know, this situation definitely could have been avoided had I not uh, forgotten to, to update and if I had been more diligent. Were you aware that you were in that danger zone? You've missed two tests. So if I miss another, I'm in trouble. I don't know. I think people have a misconception of athletes when they think about what like that goes through their heads. Obviously that's the thought when it's just front and center, like here's the issue. It's just like, why weren't you thinking about this? I don't know. It's just like I'm I'm an athlete, I'm a human being. I have personal issues going on. I have family, friends, I live outside of where I'm from, so I'm constantly traveling back and forth. Um you know, I have like appearances, I have different things going on, and I don't know, I just, I just live a lifestyle where it's just a lot of things going on through my head, so I can't necessarily say that that was just front and center, the thing that I think about every single day. Because the so. critics would say, as you know, one of the faces of the current, the new generation of athletics, you should see it as your responsibility to see this as a priority, given everything that's happened in athletics in recent times. Uh, I mean, I have nothing to do with what has happened in athletics in recent time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so I won't necessarily say that that's my responsibility um, to protect the sport based on what has happened in the past. All I can do is just focus on myself. Can you categorically state to me you are clean and have not taken drugs? For sure. How many I, times I have just, you been tested this year? Uh, this year? I don't know. It's, it's hard to keep count. It's a lot. It's a lot. I, I, would, I would equate it to probably around... Um, I don't know, probably once or twice every, every two weeks. Um, sometimes they come twice in one week, sometimes they come twice a month, sometimes they come four times a month uh, outside of competition and in competition. There's not really much else I can do or say about it. It's either you believe me or you don't believe me. I feel like I've been really like transparent about the situation, at least I try to be, and just explain to people the situation and it's nothing <laughs> fishy going on. You know, I'm just a regular guy. just happen to be really talented and, you know, have a, a gift from God that I've worked really hard at.